Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke, and today is June 4th, and we'll get back to you right after Top Stories with Abby. A car crash occurred in South Texas on Memorial Day. When police arrived on the scene, they found more than $3 million worth of cocaine. The cocaine was found in a three burlap bags in the trunk, and the owner of the vehicle was not identified. However, he peacefully turned himself into the police and was arrested. Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia, insists he is not on a roadblock road for President Biden's infrastructure bill, but is instead urging his fellow Democratic senators to continue talks with re Republicans concerning the most recent infrastructure bill. Senator Manchin told CNN, we need to do something in this bipartisan okay. way. We're not going to get everything, but we can move forward. We've got to work together, and that takes a lot of time and energy and patience. In order to use the process called reconciliation to pass the infrastructure bill, Democrats would need to all vote as one, something that cannot be done without Manchin's help. In Syracuse, New York, a woman was walking home from work at 10.30 p.m., and she tripped over a body on the sidewalk of the ramp on Southwest Street on Erie Boulevard. She was able to call 911, and first responders were able to perform CPR on the man, and they were able to save the man's life. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Tuesday, June 8th, there will be a sign-up and informational meeting for anyone in grades 9 through 11 looking to play JV or varsity football. The June 8th meeting will be after school in the large cafeteria. See Coach Eschbacher in B23 if you have any questions. And now on to weather. Phoenix Suns defeated the LA Lakers 113 to 100, carried by leading scorer Devin Booker, who scored 47 points against the Lakers. The Suns have won the series against the Lakers and will move on to the next round of the playoffs. The Denver Nuggets also have won their series against Portland Trail Blazers, winning the last night 126 to 115. In upcoming games, the baseball team has a meet at Fulton at five. The wrestling team has a match against Fulton and West Genesee at five. The softball team has a game against Shady at 515, and the boys lacrosse has a game at home at 7 against Central Square. I'm Aiden with your sports. And that is all we have for you guys today. So for me and everybody here at Spartan News, have a great day.